So this is part two. Um, we get interrupted at a certain level. And so we are on part two and we talked about Lot's wife and we've talked about the journey that they had. And so for part two, I just want to spend a few minutes talking a little bit of review what the first part was in case you're starting this at part two. Lot's wife has been told to flee his city and he couldn't get anyone to go with him. And his family was literally basically drug out of there. And because the city was evil, God was going to destroy it. And he has been asked to flee. He tries to negotiate like sometimes happens with our walk. We just want to say, do I have to go that far, God? And yes, they did. But he was given the grace to just go to the edge. Just get in there. Just get your feet wet at least if this is your walk. And if we can learn from this, if that's the least we can do, at least do that and head away from evil. Get out of the evil life that we lead or it may not be that we're walking in evil, but maybe we're walking in a struggle. Just step away from the struggle and go closer to God and get at least in the range of giving it to God so that you can be making an effort to go toward him instead of being completely disregarding his instructions to leave what you have gotten involved in. Lot and his wife had gotten involved in an evil city that was getting ready to be destroyed. And we too are in a time where this world is not going to be for that much longer. We are living in days that are just like the days of Noah right before they were destroyed. And the Bible says it's going to be that way. And so we need to go full force. Lot was told and his wife, they were told to go to the mountains, but they negotiated. Just let me go this far. Okay, just go that far then. But you could have went to the mountaintops. Go to the mountaintops. Go all the way. Be filled with the Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. Put on the whole armor of God. Exemplify the fruits. Be a witness. Be a light. Don't do the basic necessities. Don't do the least you can get away with. Go all the way to the mountaintop. That's what Lot was being encouraged to do. And then the worst mistake that Lot's wife made was she looked back. She looked back to the world. So do not look back. That is the fatal mistake that we make. That is the one thing that we can look at. We know that she had prestige. We know that she was a go-getter because her husband sat in the gate. Her husband was a leader, and she was probably 100% behind him. But we know all of those things, that she wanted prestige. She wanted wealth, material. She wanted to live in the city. No matter how evil it was, she wasn't concerned about righteousness. She didn't care. But when it was time to leave, when it was time to make a decision to walk away from it, she couldn't let go of the world. And that is the greatest thing that we can learn from the bad girl, Lot's wife. We can learn, oh God, let us turn our back on the world and go as far from it as we can flee. And quickly, we know we are living in the last days and we know we want to be saved. The Bible says, save yourself from this untoward generation. We must save ourselves and we must not look back at the world. We must not think about what we are leaving behind when we decide to consecrate our lives for a holy God and walk in